Hi, this is Gretchen, and I'm going to do a real quick video about using the sync button. Okay, so here's some pictures I took of this little chick that was in a laundry basket. And I have four of them, and you can see they're all pretty cool. I'm going to go to the develop module <clears throat> and see this picture is pretty cool. So what I could do is I could go ahead and I could do an automatic white balance adjustment like that. And then let's just say I also see some chromatic aberration right here along this little edge and also over here on this side. So I'll go down to here to the chromatic aberration panel. Down here. There it is. Okay. And I'll maybe bump that up to like three or four. And see, now it's gone. And then let's say I would like to have it a little bit... I want to bring up the shadows maybe a little bit or something. So this is just like typical editing. Okay, maybe I'll uh, make it a little more contrasty. Okay, so there's my picture. And then I can see down here I have three more pictures. If I want to make them all the same edits as this first one, I go ahead and click Shift and then click the last one in the series. And then this button right down here, Sync. And then it's going to ask me what you want to sync. Okay. Now, normally I have just about everything uh, checked, except for I don't click the crop because every image, in my opinion, is cropped differently. Spot removal, I never have that checked because, you know, spot removal in one picture will look different than in another picture. And the local adjustments, that's where you'd use your adjustment brush or your graduated filters, which, again, that's different in every picture. So I'm going to click synchronize, but before I do that, you can do this for everything. Let, let's say the only thing you wanted to do to all your pictures was reduce the noise or something. Then you'd click check none. And then you click noise reduction. Okay. Or you might want to, I have this one checked because I have Lightroom 3 and Lightroom 4. And that's why it gives me the little reminder like, hey, don't you want to do this as, um, don't you want to do it as Lightroom 4? Don't forget. Okay. So I'm going to uncheck these because like I said, I don't like having them checked. I'm going to click synchronize and you'll see down here on the bottom it's going to synchronize all those images so that they're all going to look the same. It takes just a minute for it to chug 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 and do it. Okay? Now I'm going to show you in another set of pictures how to use the auto sync button. Okay? So for example, here's some pictures of my daughter when she was um, in her first night in her new bed. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see, let's see, let's make a little adjustment here. Let's just say I don't like it quite so dark. So let's say I bump down the temperature a little bit. There, I like that. Okay. And then let's see. What you can do is you can auto sync a whole bunch of pictures to work the same way. Like let's say I want to take this picture and this picture. And the auto sync button only comes up once you've selected a bunch of pictures. That's why I was having a little trouble there a minute ago. Right now the sync button is on, but this little uh, on off switch right here, if you change it to auto sync, then what happens is you're looking at one picture but when you do the adjustments, it will automatically apply it to the other pictures without you having to go and check the sync button. So let's say um, in this picture here, I bring down the temperature even more. Let's say I bring it down to like 2600 or something. Then it'll bring down the temperature in these two pictures as well. Let's say I um, take the vibrance down a little bit, make it a little more muted okay then it'll do that in those pictures as well let's say I apply a um, a preset like here's one a matte preset okay then it applies the preset to these others and it does it automatically you don't have to then click the sync button okay that's it